So now that I've gotten all the ritual weapons for this season, what are my opinions on the weapons themselves? So this is probably not going to come to a surprise to you, but I think they're average. I think they're really average, except for one gun. You guys probably already know what gun I'm talking about if you guys have seen my previous videos. But ultimately, I think Randy's throwing knife easily the winner. And that's not even fair, considering if it does well in Crucible, it does gonna do well in everything else. So, Crucible by far wins. I think Exit Strategy, the Gambit Pinnacle Weapon, or I'm sorry, the Gambit Ritual Weapon is easily the second. And Edgewise, which is the Vanguard, is is third, fourth, really. It's, it's not that great. I don't, at least I don't think so. So... I think the reason I've never really done a review of the weapons in one video and I'm not gonna do that here it's more just like a uh, me talking about the weapons this season and what do I think especially since it's a ritual weapon it's a new type of system I honestly don't like it I've said on a few videos which was what Randy's throwing knife and exit strategy that I think if they really wanted to nudge the uniqueness a little more they should have given us a third perk either a third perk or two damage perks i think that would have been fine i think that would have been a really good middle like just i think it would have been great because imagine throwing uh randy's throwing knife with quick draw that would have been nice or no exit strategy with quick draw with the bottom trees like i feel like if they just give uh, gave us three perks that all melded really well together or two damage perks that melded well together it would have been great it would have been perfect because it would have been truly unique but it just feels really half-assed i'm i'm sorry i love randy's throwing knife i'm using it a bunch but at the end of the day it does feel half-assed or it does feel just kind of like hey let's just give them a frame that no gun's ever seen on the kinetic slot at least and not in my i don't think so at least i haven't seen one and you know give it rapid hit with kill clip and it's like obviously everyone's gonna use that why is no one ever not gonna use that that's gonna be a good perk selection so i think it's like the guns the gun's good it's just not not unique enough for me like i want it to have an extra perk like quick draw or snapshot sights even though this one does have snapshot sights but like something else something non-damaging like literally anything i don't know but it just kills me that this is the, where we're going. This is really where we're going. We're getting, we're having like really just basic bitch weapons. Like exit strategy with threat detector and surrounded is cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's awesome. But I've had that on my LMG since since the first season season DLC, the one after Forsaken. I've had it that long. And you're telling me that, oh yeah, these are going to be perks that you've never seen before. I've seen these perks. I've had this since the first season of... of <laughs> oh my god, bro. I just... It just... It, wow. Like, y'all really trying to tell... Like, y'all really trying to sell me shit and tell me it's gold, bro. Like... And this isn't really a big problem. I'm not going to lie. This is not a big problem. In my opinion, Pinnacle Weapons had more worth because... It was something that you could grind the whole season for which actually gave me a point to play the whole season but here i am what is it three weeks into this dlc and i have all the ritual weapons already i haven't done the raid yet but that's mostly because i just i don't care i really don't i've done every raid for destiny one and two and this is the first time that I just don't care. Actually, that's not true. The first one was uh, the last DLC, the one for Season of Opulence. But even then, I was more inclined to care because at least the armor looked cool. I had a combination for my hunter that made my hunter look like a fucking eagle man. But this arm, this this new season, lackluster armor. Lackluster ritual weapons. Lackluster. It's just, it's lackluster. That's all it is. And it's wild that people are telling me, like, no, Tony, like, this DLC is really good. And it's funny, too, because 
I got a comment not too long ago saying that yeah no the community thinks this is a this is a shit shit DLC but then I go into like content creators and Twitch streamers and saying like oh yeah we have so much content and I'm like are you talking about the stat grind because that's not content that's that's not content <laughs> that's you're doing the same thing over and over like I don't I don't know am I just like I am I expecting too much because like I was expecting a little more from this DLC. I was expecting a little more from the ritual weapons. That's a lie. I was not. I was expecting them to be watered down. Let's be real. The moment they were like, yeah, we're going to discontinue pinnacle weapons. I'm going to introduce ritual weapons. I'm like, cool. Water down pinnacle weapons. That's all it is. Especially what for someone like me. That I play PvP, PvE. Every aspect of the game I play. And just because I haven't done one raid from a new DLC does not mean that, oh, I'm not a raider anymore. Considering I've done every raid in all of Destiny 1 and 2. I'm probably going to do the new raid today. So it's just like there's no, there's not even a point in doing the raid considering it doesn't even drop high stat rolls. So why do that when I can just go literally to the Iron Banner and they give me stat rolls higher? Like, if I'm really trying to go for that stat roll grind, which, spoiler alert, I don't give a shit about the stat rolls. I really don't. I, I don't understand. You know what? This is just probably going to be another video on, on all of itself. Like, because I think this whole stat roll, like, grind thing is just such a dumb thing. But I don't, I don't think stats are dumb. I think you telling me that that's a grind, like, that's content is is malarkey don't don't come at me with that but this is about ritual weapons and i'm gonna tell you guys right now are they all worth it one of them is worth it exit strategy if you do if you play gambit i actually don't think gambit is that is as bad and cancerous as everyone else in the community thinks so at least last time i checked everyone didn't like it i have always enjoyed gambit i've liked it since oh since Free Gambit was first introduced in Forsaken, if I'm not, yeah, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, I loved it. I, I, I love the idea of it. I think they just implemented it a little bit bad, but I don't mind doing Gambit when I have a goal. I did mind it when I did the Soul Storm, though that shit was gross. But aside from that, Randy's throwing knife is the winner. Obviously, you already know most of the time the crucible weapons are the winners because if it's good in PvP, it's gonna do good in PvE. That's just a simple, like, it's just simple. Exit strategy is good if you like SMGs. It has a fast reload speed, especially if you put threat detector and uh, the SMG artifact seasonal mod in it. It's it's beautiful and it's kinetic so you won't have to switch out your recluse for it i think the loser is edgewise for sure edgewise is the loser in this it's weak it i don't care what you tell me it has a demolitionist in it i don't care i have demolitionist on literally almost everything like demolitionist is not a like a crazy perk to me Especially when like why the fuck am I using grenades if I have guns like I really don't understand the only the only reason I use grenades is to stop enemies coming at me so that's my th Those are my thoughts on ritual weapons one of them's worth it one of the other one is worth it if you don't mind Gambit and the Vanguard one is literally just like if you want it, I guess it's a 900 rpm It's nice. It's just it's it's not all right so i don't want to give off the impression that it's a bad gun it's not a bad gun it's just it's fine it's very average like it's not gross it's not bad it's not good it's not great it's just in the middle of like average like that stepping on that line of like hi guys i'm average like that average that average it's average so I just want to get it out there. I don't think the gun's bad. I just think it's, it does the job. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's, it's okay. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong? Probably not, but you guys will tell me if I'm wrong or not in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good shit. And 
Don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below and I will see you guys later.